guys, it's Rhiannon B. I know it's been a while. I've just been busy with holidays and honestly just finding a time to film because I prefer to film when I'm alone in my apartment. It's a little easier. Um, today I thought I'd do uh, the first of a segment I'd like to do called Linguistic Tidbits, which is basically anything interesting I find um, linguistically related or the study of English linguistics specifically. And what I'm doing right now is actually called the accent tag. Um, I got the suggestion from a YouTuber that I subscribe to called You Can Call Me A. I'll put her link down below to her channel. She's really cool. She's from England. And she does reviews on different kinds of food as well as other random things she feels like doing. So go subscribe to her. She's really awesome. And the purpose of the accent tag is basically I'm going to start with reading some words in basically how I would speak them so you can kind of gauge my accent. Just so you know, I live in San Antonio, Texas, so my Texas will be, accent will be primarily like, I guess, Texas, mainly the metropolitan area because I was from Houston. So it's not like more like to the west of Texas, which is really southern drawl. Um, but I do definitely have some kind of a southern accent. But I did move around a lot as a child, so I think I might have a mix of that other things as well as I have Welsh relatives. So that might mix in as well. So first what I'm going to do is read some words basically in my normal voice. And you can basically gauge how I sound. Ant, roof, root, wash, oil, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, sure, Data, Rue, Crayon, New Orleans, Pecan, Both, Again, Probably, Spitting Image, Alabama, Lawyer, Coupon, Mayonnaise, Syrup, Pajamas, Cot, Naturally, Aluminum, and Envelope. And now they have questions um, based on basically your region and what you call certain things. Because some English speaking nations call certain things differently. So here's the first couple of questions. What is it called when you throw toilet paper at a house? Amy actually didn't know this one. It's called TPing a house. What is, what is the bug that when you touch it, it curls into a ball? I call it a pill bug. What is a bubbly carbonated drink called? I call it soda. Some people in Texas call it Coke. It could be Dr. Pepper, Big Red, doesn't matter. It's all just Coke. But I call it, personally, I call it soda. What do you call gym shoes? Tennies, mainly. What do you say to address a group of people? Well, practically everyone in Texas says y'all. I say y'all as well. What do you call a kind of spider or spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? Daddy long legs. What do you call your grandparents? Well, it depends because I have my Welsh grandparents and I have my American grandparents. My American grandparents I call grandpa, who unfortunately is no longer with us, and my grandma. And on my mom's side, I would call her nanny. And my grandfather was granddad, even though he wasn't in my, my life very much. What do you call a wheeled contraption when you carry groceries? at the supermarket. A cart or a shopping cart. What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? I'm thinking a rainbow or just really random weather. What is the thing, the thing you change the TV channel with? A remote or remote control. So that's the end of the accent tag. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. It's just kind of brushes on the, to uh, the topic of linguistics, basically studying about why there's different accents, why people speak the same language one way, but a different way in another. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Um, leave a comment on what things you'd like me to do next. And there's also links to my um, Instagram, Vine, Pinterest account in, in the description as well. And I hope
hope you all have a great day and I will see you next video. Bye!